The new golfer has come out, and now the first thing people want to see, and people, you know, a quick to go with, can he fix blue Zaldras? And the answer is, I don't know, I'll have to try. But, uh, if you don't know, golfer's passive is for each turn passing, as long as every, every card in the field is a different race, um, he does get, he does give everyone 7% attack release stats. And then, I'm also using Easton, which her passive is that she gives 5% um, attack release stats per debuff on enemy up to 8 times. So, max to 40. No attack, just the other attack release stats. And then Zaldras, of course, needs to crit. So, Gopher plus Easton is an amazing combo because of the rank up, and because this Gopher also has rank up. Um, no. He will work fine. I saw a lot of people are complaining about Go for having rank up because it's kind of lazy. They just read his animation. It is, <laughs> but they had an animation. Like they, they had made the arrow animation. They just didn't use it. So I'm assuming the next Gopher will have that arrow. But yeah, they just copy and paste. Which, again, I like in the banner image, like for the news. Gopher had a different card. They probably like last minute where it was like, you know what? This Gopher will sell more if we have rank up. So they went with that. That's definitely what happened. Alright. So he's already buffing 7%, right? I believe so. Yeah, 31. Let me rank her up. Debuff, that will apply the debuffs. Of course. And let's see him crit. That also increases crit damage, increase attack, increase, you know. But like by turn like three or four, that's when uh, Gopher's passive really kicks in. All right, 104k level one, just just for starters, you know. The next turn, let's go with the double Zaldra's AOE and the uh, the single target. I think that would be uh, pretty nice because that would definitely kill Kyo, right? The AOEs. He will heal quite a bit. Yeah, 12k. Ah, it's not that much. But that, like, his passive is proccing again, so... More attack related stats twice here. Hopefully this can kill King? I don't know about that. King has incredible core resistance. Ooh, that was a crim everyone. Oh, wow. Oh, no crit. But, like, I can't even blame him. King has amazing core resistance. Like, 90% or something crit resistance. So I can't, I can't even blame him on that one. Alright. I could debuff them again with Easton. That is something I could do. Unless he kills my Gopher, which is possible. If he does kill my Gopher, he went for Zeldris. It makes sense. Oh, Zeldris is dead. Yeah. It makes complete sense to kill Zeldris. Yeah, you saw like how well he was doing. Unfortunately. Um, Alright, so let's, let's do this, right? Uh, but now he has revive. That's unfortunate. Let's wake up Easton, debuff, um, and I'll do this. Now, but I already have three debuffs, so I'm gonna lose the. I mean, if he doesn't have a bleed card, I will not lose my ultimate, so. Let's hope he doesn't have a bleed card, or he can't kill me. I mean, I might just lose this match. It was a bad matchup for me because the King team is, you might know, the best team in the game. Also known as, you know, the best team in the game. So, not a good matchup. But what can you do? Easton gets incredibly cocked by the King team. Because he doesn't rely on ultimate. Like, Easton's whole purpose is to seal ultimate. And, yeah, what's the point? He doesn't rely on ultimate, plus he has a revive. Ugh. But you saw how much damage Zal just did. Let me, um... Hope the next match will go better. Here's the thing, right? I could have used level 3 from Easton, but this is exactly what would have happened. I do it. He dies, and he gets revived. No, he didn't die. I mean, he died now. Terror 5. What's, what's the point? I hate Elizabeth so much. I swear to God, of course. <laughs> they... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep this match in. I think I can make some work. Let me apply this debuff as well. Oh, but it goes away after one turn. Hmm. It's okay. I'm gonna keep this match in. It's, it might be a long one, but... I can win. He's gonna be, you know... Absolute... Oh, I can't even damage. If I, you know, get a lot of stacks with Gopher, I think I'll be fine. I think if I get a lot of stacks with Gopher, I'll be fine. 
Increases damage. Take him. Ooh. Let's um let's see if I can make work on that Dario. I swear Valencia has made the biggest comeback. Because no one's using Ultrash anymore. Yeah, I can't do anything. Ooh, never mind. Oh no crit. Never mind. Valencia has made the biggest comeback because like the only team that can really counter the Valencia is like Alt Rush. And that's why she was like dead for such a such a long time, because everyone's running Alt Rush. But now no one runs Alt Rush. No one runs Alt Rush anymore. Yeah, let, me, let me kill the Dariari. No one runs Alt Rush anymore, so like Valencia. You face a lot of Pierce teams, so she counters it. You face a lot of King teams, she counters it. That's it. No, no one runs anything else. So now, like most matches on JP are King team, Pierce, or Valenti. That's that's what you see on JP, which is it's good variety, quote unquote. Because I mean, it's better than when it was just the the, the Lost Vein King uh, Elizabeth team, right? It's better than when it was that, but it's still like not great. Let me do this. Hopefully this will apply a debuff, so I can increase damage even more. Like, uh, what's the percentage looking like? Mm, the Pierce is like, no, super low, but like, the crit chance and crit damage are really high. Because of Gulf, her plus, and her own passive also boosts it. Yeah, that is applying a debuff to everyone, so that procs her passive again. That's like, um, what, 24% more stuff? No, 15? Wait. Yeah, 24, 24. It's not 5%, it's a, it's 8%. Yeah, I got a Zaldra's card, but you saw what the, what the AoE last time did. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> it really wasn't. <laughs> the AoE last time wasn't pretty. Uh, let's uh, let's increase that crit that uh, crit chance and crit damage real quick before I ult. Hopefully get a crit off. Hopefully, I mean by now, Gopher's passive is pretty high. Gopher's passive passive is pretty built up by now. Yeah, well, it was pretty built up by now. All right, ooh, Liz. Hmm. Liz means revive, which isn't good. But let's do this. I want to attack. I'm gonna start attacking Liz. I want to build up Gopher's passive a little bit more before I start attacking Meliodas, because I want to, I want to like, kill Meli in two hits. Just one level one, kill him, one level one, kill him again. Oh wow. That's a lot of crit damage. Okay. Oh, actually, hmm. Might happen right now. Level, unless she shields up, right? If she shields up, unlucky. But if she doesn't, rank him up, level two, level three. Because I mean, level two first, because then, uh, I'll still have the two debuffs. Nah, she should have I'm okay. It's okay, I'll still level him up. Yeah, I hope he doesn't kill her or something. I still level him up. Go for his passive built up again. Level him up. I guess I'll, uh, I'll do this. It won't really do much. I just had nothing else to use, because, you know, if you don't know. Oh, hopefully I'll kill him. Nice, that's that's where I've gone. Okay. If you don't know, you can't crit the shield. So if they put up a shield, don't even try. You're not gonna crit it. So if Zalager is you wanna crit, so you know. Oh that's a stun on Gopher. Okay. Oh if stun Zalgers, but alright, that's Easton has no passive proccing. So the only thing is Gopher buffing him. 21%. One hit, baby. That's all you need. All you need. Three hundred seventy-one k. Three hundred seventy-one k with one card. All he needed, baby. It's all he needed. I moved two cards because you know if you if you lose an ultimate gauge of Zaldris, he buffs his uh, crit damage by thirty percent. So I wanted to buff as much as possible beforehand. I'll do it again. Oh, that's unfortunate. I actually wanted to rank up. But it's fine, I'll, I'll just... I'll do this, right? I want to kill Gopher. 
And again, his passive has built up again Gophers. So now it's at 28, so 117% chance to crit. You must crit this. Then you have max crit damage. That was good. <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was, uh, um, I called that. Uh, that's what you like to see right there. That's what I called that. It's uh, that's what you like to see right there. Hmm. Let's rank up. Nah, if I rank up Easton, it won't be anything. I had to do this to remove the debuff, but. I call that, that's what you like to see right there. Because uh, that's exactly what you'd like to see right there. That was, like, the crit damage is like, flowing with this. Well, the king team, okay. He goes first, I lost. Yeah, there's no chance of winning. If, the ki if you're facing king, and he goes first, you instantly lost. No chance, of unless he's stupid. Which he isn't, he's doing the three cards. Okay, yeah, I lost, there's no point in playing. Unless you keep playing, because we're not. I mean, might as well. I'm here. Might as well. Okay, debuff them. I... will take that hit and go for... Ugh. Nah, he's gonna kill, like, it's what, like, look at Zalja's health. Like, it's been one turn. I played once. And Zalja's HP is at 50% go for his, like... Go for his one hit away from death. With that HP, he's still one hit away from death. One hit from King kills Gopher. Or 100k. Like, it's just. Ah, the King team is just impossible. If you go second, you just have no chance. Okay, this is an interesting matchup. We're facing Pierce. I need to kill Lilia. Like, instantaneously. I'm not gonna use Zeldris, but I will use Easton because type advantage. I'm hoping the crit damage from Gopher will. Let me the kill. The extra 7% crit chance and crit damage and pierce and attack. Just 7%, but I'm hoping it's enough. It wasn't. I lost. Unless he's stupid. That's the only- I, I look at those cards. Ugh, trash cards. Unless, the only way I can win is if he's really dumb. That's the only way I can win. Well, as you can see, yeah, <laughs> Pierce is way too strong. That's why people are using Valencia. All right, finally an Ult Rush team. I swear, no one's running Ult Rush anymore. I mean, it's kind of dead. Like, if you face it again, King Team, if you face the King Team, you lost. Like, you just have no chance. What are the odds? How much HP do you have? What? Oh. You have 200k HP? Using HP for you or something? It might be. Your last Vayne has 200k HP? How? You must be using HP for you. Right? That's a lot. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of HP. That's a lot of HP, man. Damn. I'm like, I'm impressed. Alright. So here's one thing. Again, Easton is getting 14% from Gopher, and his, her passive is gonna be max. This should kill King. A crit on Melee is not good, but it's worth the price, I guess. Yeah, 250k. Pretty good. It's a pretty good number. Uh, no single targets for, for Zeldris though, that's a big issue, yeah, I, I I can still win, but not getting a single target for Zeldris is a big issue. Easton's dead, that's not horrible. Gopher's passive is going to continue because my unit in the back is a human. So that's not the worst thing ever, but... It's not great either. Um, okay, he's gonna go purely off of purely off of Gopher's passive. No, 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 no. Yeah, let me do this. Rank up every card, level three. 
Purely off of Gopher's passive, no Eastern path passive. Can I kill Meliodas? Yes, I can. 276k. No Zarja's passive. Did he lose an ultimate gauge? I think he did. I think his passive is zero. So that was just Gopher's passive. Damn. Let me let me actually check that. Yeah, that was just Gopher's passive. 20k attack. Damn. Double OE here with Zarja's. Gopher just died. He just died. He can pop off. Definitely can pop off. Okay, another piercing, but this time I'll, I'll try differently, okay? Let's just... Let's just go for this, okay? Let's just kill her. Don't care about the, the, uh, the extra 15% for her passive. No, 24%. Zarjus? Crit? Wasn't enough. And it's death. Unless he doesn't have two Pierce cards, which he definitely does because that's my luck. If he doesn't have two Pierce cards, I can win. He doesn't. Okay, he doesn't. Okay. Alright. So let's uh, kill on Lilia. My issue is Rugal. This kills millions, for sure. Cred? Cred, cred, cred? Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Zao just did his part, but you have to be kidding me. Didn't kill. If Rugal has two cards, I just die. I have no chance. I have zero chance. If Rugal has two cards, I lost. See, like, Rugal is way too strong. He just completely revived Pierce. He does have two cards. How can you compete? I guess I should just use Red King in the back, but then when you don't face Pierce, then it's just completely useless. So far, eh, I think that, um, that the meta just doesn't allow Zeldris to succeed as well as he would, you know, hope to. That, that's the issue. The meta just really cucks him. Like, he's doing insane, right? But the teams we face, you know, you face the king team, you lose. You face Pierce, you lose. You know, you just have no chance. Unless, I mean, Pierce, if I was using Red King in the back, I could win. But then if I face the king team, then what's the point? Like, you, you get, like, the meta definitely is cucking him. And, of course, he got a... He got that. The meta is definitely cucking him. Which is unfortunate. But And if you use Zaljus, you cuck yourself when you're using Easton, because you can do exactly that. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Invasion other. Because like if you're using just Easton. It's fine, he can't cleanse, right? But if you're using Zaljus, if he moves a card, he can cleanse, so... His revive is gone. I kill Melody with no issues here. I really do. I should be able to break the shield with Zaljus with no issues. Oh, he kills Easton. I thought he would go for a stun. No. He went for that. That's kind of dumb. Well, <laughs> that wasn't very smart. And Gopher took off his ultimate gauge, but... He could... He should have... Uh, maybe he didn't have a stun. Right? He, should have, he should have shielded. He definitely should have shielded. Rank up Zeldris. And level 3 attack on the Meliodas. That's a kill. Easy kill right there. Did Gopher just do 778 kill with his ultimate? That's a that's a lot. He was buffed by his own buff thing. And his own passive. So I guess it makes sense. But that was a lot. I was not expecting to just kill them like that. Alright, King Team. Time to lose. I mean, I'm going first, so I have a chance. 
And he's not using Elizabeth. Hmm. Alright, if he doesn't think much... If he doesn't think much, this is good. And he's a real player. I can feel by the lag. Which is good. Because I think, like, I saw the and he's not really first. I thought maybe he's a bot, but... It's laggy, so he's a player. That's good. You see how long it takes to move to a new, a, new, a new turn? That's good. I don't have an ultimate gauge of Zaljus to lose, though. I, I was thinking... Oh my god. You really doing that? Really? Well... The crit chance is not there. But please do. The crit chance is not there, but please do. Not even needed, damn. He's definitely using attack and crit damage with, uh, with King then, huh? Definitely was using attack and crit damage with King. Why is he using Red Zargers in the back? It makes zero sense to use Red Zargers in the back. He's not using Commitment. Maybe he thinks it's demons, and he's using, like, Hendrickson? Because he himself doesn't count. Alright, since he's putting up a red unit in my uh, like in front of me real quick, let's rank up Zelda's Move. And attack. Uh, red Zelda's has 90%, 83% core resistance, right? Let's, uh, 7. Why do I think I more? Like 70% core resistance. Let's see. Guys, it didn't matter. 231k. Like, he does impressive stuff, that's for sure. He mo for sure does impressive stuff. There's no doubt about that. But would I say it's um, a meta team? Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. Let's make a big number right here. Zaldris is all about the big numbers. Does uh, he... No, it's one more. Zaldris is all about the big numbers, right? So... Pfft, okay. Yeah, that's what happens when he doesn't crit. It's uh, not pretty. It's definitely not pretty. He kills her, but it's okay. The, the gopher passive will continue. Because the unit back is a human, so I'm not repeating any, uh, any characters with my team. So he should be maxed by now, right? Yeah, 35%. So. Crit this time, please. Yeah, when he doesn't crit, it's not pretty. Oh, wow, yeah. That AoE. AoE did 92k. That's a big difference, right? The AoE that has a like, super low multiplier did more damage than his level 3 card single target when he didn't crit. It's a big difference. And it's really good. Not matter, but it's really good. It's definitely impressive. It's definitely fun, but yeah. You're gonna lose a few times. Worth the try though.